Good morning. The Golden Globes took another step in its comeback this morning. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association announcing nominations for the Globes' 80th edition. That's after scandal and boycotts over diversity and alleged ethical improprieties within the HFPA knocked the award show off NBC earlier this year. I think a lot of the more up and coming nominees will certainly show up because they'll want to have that moment. The big question is what's going to happen with the big established stars. That includes Tom Cruise, whose Top Gun Maverick is among the nominees for Best Drama, along with Avatar, The Way of Water, Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans, and Elvis, which earned an acting nomination for Austin Butler, and Tar, which brought one for Kate Blanchett. She's had a career filled with impressive performances, but I think this one tops them all. I just don't see a world in which she does not win. I just don't like you no more. The Banshees of Inishirin led all films with eight nominations overall, including Best Musical or Comedy. Its competition includes Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which scored a Best Actress nod for Michelle Yeoh. There's just something about this year for Michelle Yeoh. It's been a real career capping performance and experience for her. It's the 1920s Hollywood tale Babylon is among the other contenders for best musical or comedy, along with Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery, and Triangle of Sadness. The awards will be handed out January 10th. Mark Barger, NBC News. Boy, I've got great news for you. If you want to watch the Golden Globes Awards, they're right here on 9 News. Tuesday, January 10th at 6 o'clock, they'll be hosted by comedian Gerard Carmichael.